Hello and welcome again. This is the second part. We have a two-parter uh, today, looking at the week of February the 26th to March 4th, 2018. Um, in part one, we looked at the overall energy, so we're now in the last six star signs uh, for, for, for this week. We have a really powerful moon on the second, which means even though the energy is already quite high, it will be higher towards the end of the week, um, and loads of star signs thus far had um, quite important things to do that that means um, the higher energy will aid them. So now we're looking at the star signs Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn and Aquarius starting with um, Virgo and see where we're going from here. And um, for those of you who have skipped the first part entirely, I'm joined today by numerologist Heather James. Mm -hmm. This Hi is, guys. This is she. Um, I think she's absolutely amazing. I had a reading with her and, uh, and I'm a very difficult guy, if that makes sense, because when you, have, when you do reading and you exchange a lot, you get to meet tons of readers. Um, and sometimes you get pissed off with readers too, you know. Uh, so I, I specifically asked the universe to find me a reader who is good, and they brought me her. <laughs> and that's, that's just, just a good thing, right? I've also had some amazing healing off Thomas since yeah. then as well. I highly recommend yeah. some help. It's cool because we can, we can exchange, you know? Yeah. Which, is, which is really a good thing. So what we do is we look, we look at, yeah, this is interesting. We look at um, the, the, the cards and we're going into Virgo now. You have, you have uh, the falcon and inner wisdom. And uh, you don't see it here because we're too far away. <laughs> um, every every week I'm just messing about with the camera because I don't want these videos to look the same, if that makes sense. And I realize um, we're maybe a bit too far away. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's all good. You have the falcon and in the other depiction of inner wisdom you actually have the, uh, the owl. And um, let's talk about birds plural. Every time you have birds as symbolism it means you have to elevate yourself. See things from a higher point of view. Don't look at things from a, a middle ground or lower ground, which means don't look at it from, from ego, don't look at it from worry, it will not aid you. The falcon sees its food from a mile away, so there will be no surprises for, uh, for you this week because you will see issues coming and can deal with them before they escalate. And then you have the owl, which draws, this is interesting, an auditory map, and the auditory map allows her to get the mouse in the undergrowth without being caught herself in the undergrowth. So listen to what's been said around you and you're going to be fine. So on a whole, um, Virgo's biggest job this week is to be high in energy, right? Yeah, uh, taking flight is very important. Okay, we have the Falcon, which is a five. Five relates to freedom. Okay, so some of you may be going on holiday. Um, but to be honest, it's more energetic freedom. Okay, with the Athena card, we have the full moon in the background. So try and listen to what's being said to you, okay, and try and take it in. Um, Athena, it says you know what to do. Trust your inner, wish, inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay, okay? Um, see things from a higher perspective. Um, fives are very fun-loving as well, so try and keep your energy very, very high um, and, and listen out for what's being said to you. Okay? There's loads of... They're not necessarily subliminal, but there's loads of messages. Um, it's like reading between the lines, but, but with your ears. Yeah. So a lot of stuff, um, and also it's not just what is being said, but how it is being brought to you. Energy doesn't lie. You can tell people by their energy. And if someone says something to you and it feels off, it's probably off because you already can read the energy. So listen to how it is being uh, um, portrayed and how people talk. For instance, even if someone speaks their truth, when they say it angrily, you will only get half of it because anger overrides uh, solutions, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So it's important uh, for, for Virgo this week to, to stay high in energy. And remember, you have birds. So there's quite an easy thing. It's super easy. Let's just say you're in a situation that you can't escape and it is difficult for you to... Um, get out of it. In Native American lore, you look at animals and then mimic them. And what you do, is because you elevate yourself, you just step back a little. When you sway backwards, you're telling your inner child and your inner wisdom to elevate itself. So you can be in a situation, and by just swaying backwards, it's like, really? <laughs> I think nobody notices unless you tell them. Um, you can see immediately who causes danger here and who, and who is causing issues. Um, 
Charlie, the doggy, is in the background. He, he thinks, where are my biscuits? So uh, for now, we just ignore him. So all this whiny stuff is not a sound effect, it's just a doggy. He has been right? fed. But he, yeah, he has been fed, absolutely. Um, it's just him wanting attention. <laughs> that makes sense. So yeah, Virgo as well, you work very, very hard all the time. Okay, try and have some fun. Five is fun and freedom. Okay, um, also don't let criticisms and things like that hold you back at the moment. Don't take in everything everyone says. Only take the higher, higher vibrational words that are coming towards you and leave the others beneath. Okay. Okie dokie, moving into Libra. And I'm drawn to the other deck. Your cards are too big for the ball. I know. <laughs> Let's see where we're going. And you can you can tell already, energetically speaking, there's a bit of hesitation for Libras this week because we haven't figured out the cards yet. Yeah. Usually they come quite quickly. So overthinking is not helping this week. It's important, right? And also hesitation never does any good, if that makes sense, right? Um, so you have the dog. Freya, be bold. Uh -huh. What is important about, uh, about this, you also have a bobcat on the depiction of Freya. So we're looking at canine and, and feline energy. Um, and it's not mutually exclusive, if that makes sense. You are more than, than the sum of your parts, if that makes sense. You have a lot of knowledge inside you. The dog denotes loyalty. But this week, for Libras, loyalty starts with you. Be loyal to yourself. If you are not happy with the situation, speak your truth, say something about it. Bobcats, obviously feline, cats. Um, you can easily walk away from situations if you so choose. And it's important not to, um, not to be held back. Because the, the issue that you have this week, hence the hesitation, is that dogs are human pleasers and cats are not <laughs> so, <laughs> in anyway. so in any way so there's these two sides to you um, and you need to reconcile the two it's not that you abandon the canine or the feline side it's that you reconcile and and play it the way you truly feel it if that makes sense right of course looking at this for some reason i keep feeling like some of you libra are having problems with the taurus at the moment um, i know taurus is what else is new <laughs> <laughs> tauruses are quite um how do i say it Quite forceful at times okay um, so Libra try and speak up for yourself okay try and be adventurous but also stay stay loyal to people um. and also there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, inner strengths here because the depiction here is Freya and Freya is actually um, historically speaking and again whoever writes these these books always writes them in the favor of the victors <laughs> if that makes sense but Freya actually was the daughter of a king uh, but she was also a superb um, warrior. So even though she was the daughter of a king, she wasn't spoiled at all. She wouldn't have any nonsense. So don't allow any nonsense. And, and remember that you have a lot of fight in you. Even though because you are um, loyal to yourself, you don't have to fight. You just have to be strong and firm. And, and you're getting there. Let yourself shine bright. Yep. Be bold. Okay, Take risks. Don't stand for things that aren't serving you any longer. Yeah. Clear those out of the way, okay? Um, after the after the forming, things are going to be illuminated, okay? So it stays very strong. Yeah. So moving into Scorpio. I can smell the food already. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible when you're hungry, isn't it? It is. All of a sudden, you just Ooh, you just broke them yourself. Cards fall out. Okay, that's interesting because you have you have infinite, infinite supply and the elephant. And what is interesting about the um, the depictions? See, this is why I actually love teaming up with someone because you have a different deck of cards, and and still the cards are not interrupting each other. It's really a, um, a convergence of different guides working together and working together for you. So the main, uh, the first card here is the elephant and, and, and then the infinite supply card um, boasts uh, either a crow or, or um, 
a, a blackbird or something or you know could could yeah there's a little whale here as well so what you need to do is and real is realize that you are an old soul also and this is no no um uh, it's not rooted in physicality but you have a lot of weight to throw about uh, um, spiritually speaking so when you speak your truth people will hear you <coughs> you have the whale which uh, depicts uh, being an old soul um, having been around forever um, let's disregard that he's a perfect singer <laughs> if that makes <laughs> sense right but voices carry yeah. and if you speak your truth people will hear it the downside is that you have the elephant and the elephant remembers everything so you have to overcome um, stuff like inner trauma, old trauma, things where you feel um, I'm not quite worth it. So, so this is a self-esteem issue as well this week for Scorpio. Um, so, so, so get out of this hole that you at times put yourself in and remember that nobody would mess with, a, with an elephant nor a whale. Um, so when you speak your truth, people will pay attention, if that makes sense, right? I'm getting quite a lot from these two cards actually. Uh, with the elephant, I'm automatically thinking of Lord Ganesh. Um, mm. And the whale, I'm thinking about frequency music, so it's probably a good idea to bring Ganesh Mantra into your life this week. Ganesh is the bringer of prosperity, and he will also clear away all that no longer positively serves you. Okay, so whatever you're worrying about, bring in Lord Ganesh and that mantra, and that will, will help heal the situation. Yeah. Okie doke, moving into uh, Sagittarius now. Yeah, it's, it oftentimes happens, isn't it? Oh, interesting. Oh, that's interesting because <laughs> we, we have we have a past life card, uh, and we have what is called necklace and wampum. And when you have the necklace and wampum card, the question always is, do you have handed down jewelry, someone else's jewelry that you could wear? And because it is a necklace, even if it is a ring, you can wear it on a pendant and it goes into past life so very likely um, they're they're referring to um, um, jewelry that is handed down from someone who is likely past if that makes sense um, when 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 past life comes in it just means that there's issues that you have brought here with you it's not a person that has been dead for 200 years <laughs> if that makes sense yeah. right um, but uh, things come up this week for you that have been sitting inside yourself for a long time and this is the week to let it go because the the imagery i'm getting is to have the dependent no longer than your sternum right here between the boobs so to speak um where your rejection point sits so this is about letting stuff go that has held you back um and and move forward after um well limitations that energy has put on you if that makes sense I've also seen a lot of beauty in the past, okay, so if you've had painful experiences and things like that, try and see the beauty in it rather than dwelling on the negative too much, okay. You may be becoming involved with someone who's actually from your past life, um, it's hard to say without your numbers, um, but yeah, I feel like some yeah, old, the only number old we have is seven, isn't it? Be, yeah, 25, 7, 2 yeah. is harmony, 5 is freedom, Seven is the spirit. So we need to find some spiritual freedom here. There's things from the past life that are holding you back. Um, I'm feeling like there's work that needs to be done on sacral chakras. Um, so try and play some binaural beat musical frequencies that are going to heal that chakra. And, and, and orange is the colour yes. for for the sacral chakra. This is actually the, um, um, a that's sacral chakra too. cushion. Yeah, that's, that's orange too. So that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Also, Isis is, is mentioned here. So there is God energy, if that makes sense. So um, if you mean it this week, healing will come to you big time, yeah. which is also uh, quite, a, quite a good thing. So right? a time to, to let things pass and get over things, yeah. okay? Um, start a new life for yourself this lifetime. Yeah. So we're going into uh, Capricorn. We only two star signs uh, left. So we, have, we have Capricorn and Aquarius. Let's see what we got. And it's only fair to, to let my guests kick this off this time because I've been talking way too much. <laughs> okay, so 
Okay, so Capricorns, we have Sekhmet, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, okay? I'm a Capricorn myself. We tend to work very hard and don't believe in ourselves very much, okay? Um, be strong and go after what you, you've been working for, okay? We have two lions in this picture. Um, and lions are very fearsome, yeah. okay? And also remember, lions do not have to fight. It, yeah. is, it is the very fact that they're there that makes you pay attention. Yeah. Um, so, so once you have your boundaries in place and you tell people not to drain your energy and invade your space, you're halfway there, mm -hmm. right? And yeah, you have you have the dream trap, which means that loads of um, um, suggestions will actually come to you in dreams. Yeah. So if you if you can have a little dream journal. Uh, because this means that you will remember some of your dreams this week and when you have a dream that is recurrent what you will look for is patterns yeah. and once you see like well I always saw that a little bit differently but there is this and this happening in a dream um, you realize and recognize the pattern and in the pattern is where your answers are that's so. it and we have a 23 Two is harmony and three is fun and trinity balance, which equals a five. Okay, so there's something quite predominant that's going to be coming through in your dreams. I feel like something very important, a very strong sign that you need to take take notice of and yeah. start working and, towards and probably, it. And probably take action because mm -hmm. uh, five is also the number of change. Yes. So yes. it is time to look at things and make appropriate changes. Even if it's very scary. Okay? Yeah, Remember yeah. you have the lion energy around you. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's just not easy, right. if, that, if that makes sense, but, um, but if it needs to be done, it needs to be done. It has to. Right? And also, that's why you have all these guys around you. We're, we're, we're never alone. Also, I'm seeing here um, the crown chakra. Try and open your crown chakra a little bit more. This is going to help the dreams come through and enable you to understand them too. Yeah. And if you are, into, um, or if you are familiar with tuning forks, um, the 128 one would be too strong, but the 32 hertz, for instance, you can use it along the suture. And if you use it along the suture, it has to be the 32 hertz, and you need to be, you need to know what you're doing, if that makes sense. But um, it opens up um, a lot of pathways that help you with mood swings. So if you are scared um, when you feel like, well, this is a big issue, um, and you work along the suture. It will make a lot of sense. Um, it just came to me, um, the, the, the tuning fork, which is interesting because the tuning fork also represents a number three, okay. which is progression. Right? I feel like some of you are trying to get away from somebody as well. Mm. Okay, um, Be strong and allow that to come through. I feel like you're holding on to things that aren't serving you anymore, Capricorn. Yeah. Try and let that go, Okay, and that's going to personally fulfill you and give you a lot more strength. Yeah. All I can say is I'm happy I'm a Pisces. <laughs> I'm <laughs> but, a Capricorn. <laughs> but we have that sometimes, you know, not, not all uh, star signs are equal. And while some of us fly through a week, others have a real massive thing to do. And then the next week you could be the one just sitting back there and relaxing and kind of stuff. It, it, it is what it is. So the final star sign for this week is Aquarius. And remember, for those of you who have just watched this, um, this is a two-parter. We looked at the last six star signs, or looking at the last six star signs. The first six star signs, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer and Leo, are in part one. Also, we're talking about the overall energy for this week, February 26th to, to March the 4th, in the first video. So, you know, um, watch it. Uh, share it with people, um, and so that they can figure out what star sign they are and, and, and what part to look for. If that makes sense, and I'm drawn to the to the number cards actually. It's a good idea to also check your rising sign. Um, so whatever your rising sign is, check the predictions for that too, because that will have an effect. Also, the moon sign that will relate to your emotions. Okay, so take a look at that too. Okay, that's interesting because we have Mother Earth and drum, and that's all about cleansing and vibration. Um, and the higher your vibration are. Um, the, the easier things are. Also, the drum works best outdoors and Mother Earth is related to soil. So it's about cleansing, it's about uh, holding on to who you truly are and also about being grounded. Yeah. It's quite important to be grounded this week. So you, are, you have to take control of your own environment okay, and clear that out, clear out everything that no longer serves you. Again, try and put some frequency music or some Benora beat music on. I feel like that's really going to help. Because um, it's environmentalism, maybe try and bring some greenery into, into your home, some fresh living energy um, yes. to, to replenish that which has been lost lately. And it's also a very good idea um, to just 
um, get a little, you know, you, you know when you when you when you do your 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 sandwiches in the morning, you have these little breakfast mm -hmm. bags. You bring an empty bag and ask the universe if it is okay for you to remove some soil. And you just take some soil, put it into the bag, and then carry it in your pocket mm -hmm. for about seven days. Um, and you will feel grounded straight away for seven days. Mm -hmm. And remember, because the new moon, so the full moon is on the Friday. Um, it will be recharged on Friday, so you get a, a, an extra boost, even though you already have a charging system in your pocket, so to speak. So um, use the energy that we have this, this week, because we only have um, two full moons in, in March, so use them appropriately and accordingly, if that makes sense. Well, so Marush is holding the world in our hands, okay, so the world is your oyster. You go, go for things that, that you feel drawn to, okay, don't hold yourself back, but try and get in touch with nature as much as possible, that's quite important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another star sign has to call in sick <laughs> <laughs> and just be out in nature. If you are a person that is a gardener or something, this week be a spiritual gardener. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to the guides. Um, every tree that you see has a guide. Um, hug the tree and ask the guide to, to uh, manifest so you can actually see and feel them and have a conversation because they're quite lonely at times. Yes. A lot of people don't talk <laughs> to trees, even when you're a tree hugger. A lot of people do not go and say like, okay, I would like to, to, to have a conversation with the guide, please. Right? So they're very <coughs> lonely guides at times. And this would be a good week, um, especially for, for, for Aquarius, um, to, um, to look at them. And, and, and communicate. Yes. If that makes sense. Yeah. Interestingly enough, I feel I should have. I, I need to get a second card. Um, I need. I need okay. an extra card here. Just see where we're going with this. Um, again, you have the otter. We mentioned this earlier. That this is the, the 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 animal that is holding hands. So it is about reaching out actually in this in this case and um, and remembering that you're not alone is another important thing for for Aquarius this week. And we have quiet time reversed, which is quite funny because we have the drum here, which is very noisy. Okay, so this is, don't be quiet. Take time to speak your trees, okay? Don't hold things back. If you hold things back, you're going to be feeling quite depleted and very heavy, and yeah. we don't want that. Yeah, absolutely. And also, what I'm, what I'm getting energetically is, is overtone singings. Mm -hmm. So, uh, singing. So, if you can um, create different tones, use them. If not, you can just use a, I, O, and U afterwards, ah, you, like this, you know, um, and you, 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 your sound will automatically uh, create an overtone, even though you're not changing anything, you're, you're just um, using the same tone by pressing the, to the, 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 the tongue up against the, the, the upper teeth, if that makes sense, yeah. and you create overtones that way, and overtones allow you to um, create healing frequencies which then go into your whole chakra system and cleanse you and ground you. So there's tons of stuff that you could be doing, but again, it makes more sense to do it in nature. Yes. I feel like people are going to be drumming at work this week. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this. I feel like some of your, some of you may be, your mums may be feeling a bit low at the moment. It's time to give a little bit back to your mother and help her out a little bit. Yeah. Um, and, and mums don't tend to speak up very much. Very true, yeah, very true. <laughs> and also they don't ask for much. They don't. There's one of those things. And if your mum is a past, then what is a good idea is to actually light a white candle and just acknowledge her. It doesn't have to be um, a, a large candle, but it should not be a tea light. Yeah. Tea lights burn too fast. They're not really that spiritual, if that makes sense. So if you light a candle where, where your mum is actually um, Im embedded, embedded in it so there's this there's this feeling of being cozy and surrounded by the flame it makes perfect sense um, i feel like the gaia frequency is going to help people um so if you you can youtube that frequency of mother earth okay and that i feel like that's going to help push you forward as well because you need time alone but not quiet time yeah okay yeah okie dokie that's all we got time for. Uh, I, 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 I'm sure I can persuade her to come back uh, oh, well, occasionally back and stuff. You know, and um, and I have to say this. I said this in between the videos. How much I enjoy uh, and I enjoy I enjoy recording the videos for you. Um, but I'm very talkative and I'm very interactive and sometimes you get a little bit lonely. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a that was a nice break for me it, yeah. to just have it another was person there. Lovely to be involved. Right? It was yeah, great. Absolutely. I don't really do these kind of forecast videos. It's I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I actually only started them last year. My guides were saying, you know, do some more readings. I was like, well, yeah. I do the readings for a living. How many, how many, yeah. how many more do you want me to do? And then they really said, no, record them. Yeah.
and um, and I used to record them a lot in the chase. Uh, he, you know, Kamal Kenzo Bruti, kind of the chase, uh, very beautiful. And then, um, like I said in in another video in February, um, the moment the weather gets better, I will record this outdoors again because. I get so much more from my guides yeah. when we record it outdoors. I'm not knocking the heating room, it's a beautiful room and it's quite nice and warm, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, but the moment the weather is better, um, it makes a lot of sense to do this in nature because nature is what charges us continuously. That makes sense, right? So thank you all for watching. Um, again, this week is a part, uh, a two-parter. We not oftentimes do uh, two-parters, but um, it makes sense because otherwise it would have gone into 50 minutes yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense so it makes perfect sense to do it this way thank you so much heather thank you so much for joining me thank you me this very week. much guys i've just picked up this card i don't know why right. true love okay so i feel like a lot of you are going to have love coming in around the full moon so keep a look at an eye out for that bring okay? it on <laughs> <laughs> all right then guys thank you so much and, uh, and make sure to tune in again next week Bye bye bye